My research is actually uh, in the uh, human papilloma virus throat cancer realm, um, where we um, early on sort of discovered that patients with HPV-related throat cancer who were also smokers, actually they don't do quite as well as those patients who have HPV-related throat cancer that are non-smokers. Uh, uh, many years ago, we were in the early group to discover this epidemic of HPV-related throat cancer and published on that again about 20 years ago. Now we're trying to understand uh, the biology, what's really going on at the uh, genetic level. Um, we do believe that the DNA or the genes the, in the virus uh, in, can insert into our our own genes uh, in the throat uh, and, and there's a subset of these throat cancer patients. I mentioned that 80% do well while 20% don't do well. So why do they not do well? And in a subset, it's possible that that uh, virus genome, the, all the genes from the virus actually insert into our own DNA in the throat and then disrupt important cancer stopping genes and so it can actually perhaps turn it more like into uh, the more aggressive uh, smoking drinking throat cancer and we're trying just to understand that better so we can uh, treat patients more effectively. So we're always publishing papers. Um, we've published recently the papers about the genes inserting into um, our chromosomes in our throats. Uh, and so that uh, paper should be coming out uh, very, very soon. The first author is Heather Wallin, who actually did a PhD uh, work in our laboratory in, at the University of Michigan.